best ever toy tv here welcome again to another diecast restoration video and this time we will restore this tomica mini cooper this is a vintage mini cooper on the base the base itself is metal and on the base it says 1979 made in china so a vintage one because yeah made in china tomicas are old older cars and this is metal base it is green the front part which includes the grill and the headlights is chrome plastic and here is the base you can see the mechanism right there inside that what make these cars have suspension so they use this mechanism from their old cars until now and in this project I will still be using the stock rims and wheels on the car because yeah, I like to keep it stock looking and it, it still looks good. Here's the interior the interior of the car. It is white. The windshield is still okay. Some minor scratches. I'll be keeping it keeping it that way because I I still can't find the uh, acrylic polisher which they use in keeping the uh, windshield plastic windshield brand new looking. So let's start off now with the paint stripping. So I think I will be using a yellow paint for the uh, for this one and just detailing the t the uh, tail lights and the rear plate and also, and also some parts of the uh, car, the outline of the car. Let us. So I'm not right now. I'm uh, cleaning up the metal base with some uh, metal polisher here that I got really cheap, only ten pesos. Yeah, I'm using sandpaper also to fix these uh, parts here on the edges and hard to re reach parts
now I've done the priming here I use a red primer I didn't use uh, a lot I didn't apply a lot of layers for the primer and I'll be using that paint right there art they call it art yellow so I think only two layers will be applied for the paint job I don't really want to lose the uh, molding uh, the details on the molding now, since I am using a uh, spray can and the gr uh, the uh, grain on that and the uh, yeah, the grain on the paint will be bigger than the uh, airbrush. I'll just be applying two layers and sanding it down with the uh, thinnest grit sandpaper I got and applying the clear coat after. After the paint is done, I'll now be uh, applying details on the outline. I'll be using this silver paint on the uh, fenders and the uh, bottom part of the car here. And I will be also detailing the uh, tail light with red paint and the plate with a black paint. So I'm using just a toothpick here I'm still learning trying to use the toothpick method for the detailing maybe soon I'll be going with the uh, sharpie or or a uh, paintbrush you can see the paint job here still doesn't look okay can see the the uh, grain right there but it goes away when you apply maybe two layers two to three layers of clear coat paint so don't worry about it detailing these outlines here is really tough Right now my hands are shaking that's why you can see some mistakes but that's okay for me this is a work of love and yeah, I just enjoy this one no need to be perfect 
but that's it. You practice more and time goes by, I think I will be doing a better job on this one. So applying the black paint here on the plate. First attempt failed and use the second one just dropping it like right there. So you can see the de the uh, details on the plate number still standing out. That's pretty cool. And now let us uh, detail the headlights. Just or on the uh, red paint on the tail lights. I mean. So after all the painting and detailing, it is now time to apply three layers of clear coat here. Remember to let the clear coat cure, so that would take for me two days, two to three days for the clear coat to finish. So here is the base right now. I'll now be attaching the body of this car. So this is almost finished here. Yeah, but before we attach it to the body, let's put on the stock rims and wheel set. So just pry out the uh, mechanism here. Yeah, using this uh, screwdriver was harder than just prying it out with your finger so yeah I suggest using your fingers but be careful not to pry it too much because you will damage the mechanism and uh, you will lose the suspension on these Tomica cars so just slowly but gently pry it open just like that And the 
other set here. So right now we are uh, installing the windshield and the white interior. Again, no, no detailing was done in the interior and the windshield. Just keeping it that way. And now just screwing it back, checking out here if it looks good. So I like it so far and now just push the uh, grill and the headlight back to the body so here is the Mini Cooper right now really cool loving loving it so this came out more like a uh, yellow green paint job than a bright yellow but yeah I love this one I love it stock looking clean but some smudges right there on the tail light but which is okay again I'm learning as I go on as I go with these projects and uh, Loving it so far. This is my second restoration. I hope you enjoyed this video. So you can see right there the Mustang. That was my first restoration and the Mini Cooper here is my second. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe to our channel. Best ever toy TV. More to come soon. Bye bye guys. Peace out and enjoy the rest of the day.